Hi everyone, I'm Dan Cool. I'm a PhD student in bioinformatics graduating this semester, and I'm going to talk about Biomaki, which is a package for plotting things like protein structures and multiple sequence alignments. The main goals for Biomaki are to create plotting functions for as many Julia biology related packages as possible and to make data science easier by adding a visual component and additional controls, and to connect Julia plots and interfaces with other programming languages like Python and JavaScript so that whatever is lacking in those visualizations can be added or complemented with Maki. Currently, there are plotting functions for the main objects in biostructures and MITOS, FASTA-IO, and FASTX, which include structures and multiple sequence alignments mostly. Some packages that have some plotting functions or are under construction include the molecular graph, protosyn, and bioalignments. These are all very useful packages. So I'd like to eventually have plots for everything in them. The way that these plots are made are that the objects, like a protein structure, are converted into plotting data. And then this plotting data is what's actually used to construct the plot. The user can let it happen automatically or they can get the data themselves using the plotting data function. The reason for doing this is to make it clear what's happening with their data and to allow them to modify it specifically for plotting. Below these figures are the sets of plotting data that are used to make them. And this includes the data needed to show tooltips or the data inspector. They are ordered dictionaries right now because they're easy to work with and uh, easy to append additional data, but other data structures may work just as well or better, so methods for them may be added in the future. Here we can see some basic plots for protein structures. There are a lot of keyword arguments that can change the way they look. Like, for example, there are three types of structure plots, space filling or van der Waals, where the atoms have their van der Waals radii, or covalent, which shows atoms having their covalent radii, and ball and stick here with smaller radii so that bonds are easier to see. There are multiple algorithms for computing where the bonds are and as you can see on the right, uh, the data inspector shows tooltips with information about the atoms which are underneath the cursor. Surfaces can also be constructed for protein structures. On the left is an example that can be found in the documentation called Alpha Shape. It uses a Python algorithm to compute the surface and it's one case where Python can come in handy since the three-dimensional version of AlphaShape seen here is not available in Julia yet, as far as I know. Um, on the right is an older example that shows molecular motions in combination with AlphaShape to demonstrate the flexibility of Maki for making user interfaces for all sorts of data. You can view multiple sequence alignments loaded using these FASTA format based packages or MITOS, which uh, can read some additional formats. MITOS also provides sequence mapping and downloading utilities and a lot of other functions for editing and working with multiple sequence alignments. These plots also have tooltips enabled for inspecting the data. The values for the heat map are automatically generated from the amino acids, 
at each location or the user can make a matrix of values and feed it in as plot data. Some in-progress work is enabling selection by clicking with the cursor or programmatically using functions. I'm also trying to get the selection of uh, multiple sequence alignments and structures to be connected. So when a user selects a residue on the structure or in the multiple sequence alignment, the corresponding location is selected in the other one. This is close to being completed and will probably be complete by JuliaCon. Besides protein structures and multiple sequence alignments, there are some other plots that are implemented. On the left here, you can see the plot of a short protein sequence um, using molecular graph, uh, where the sequence is converted into a SMILES um, chemical representation, and then that's plotted using chiromachy, and it shows accurate stereochemistry and atomic numbering. On the right are some heat maps that can be uh, made from distance and contact maps from biostructures or mitos. Um, and the data inspector tooltips are enabled for these as well. They're different because the top plot is from biostructures data and the bottom plot is from mitos data. So the data being inspected is different. Ongoing and future work for Biomaki includes making plots and interfaces for as many Julia biology packages as possible, and using and providing data structures like meshes and graphs for machine learning and other purposes. I think there's a lot of potential for using Maki with machine learning. Also connecting Maki to JavaScript and web components like the ones shown on the right. Uh, these are Malstar and ProtVista, two of the most common web components in public databases like the Protein Databank, and they're displayed here using Pluto. So the first step would be to isolate the underlying data here in these representations and allow them to be controlled using Maki and the other way around so that Maki can provide whatever functionality is lacking and be complementary to these components. So that's about it. Uh, here's my contact info. Please don't hesitate to contact me about literally anything. And thanks for listening.